What's going on there guys? It's Roberto Park again with Innovative Sports Training. Time for another health detective talk today. I hope you get well educated and take good notes. This topic is for everybody. Men, women, young and old. We're going to discuss how insulin and cortisol affect the body. Now I've heard me talk a lot about insulin and cortisol lately, especially cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone that affects every tissue in the body, but you have to have the proper balance of cortisol for it to be good. If it's out of balance, it could be pretty bad. Let's go into detail here, shall we? I have a pyramid here, kind of a hierarchy of things happening in the body that should be happening in the body. Now, I've talked about this before. Insulin, cortisol, and human growth hormones. Those three things are probably at the core, the basis of what you want to address when you're trying to gain weight and or lose weight. Now let's be honest. Most people in this country, in America, are overweight and fat. They need to lose weight. I'm being some, maybe somewhat brutally honest here, ladies and gentlemen, but most Americans overweight and fat on the way to obesity. 75% of our population is overweight and or obese. Now, why is that? It is because these three areas here get out of balance big time. What happens is this. When insulin teams up with cortisol, your body fat will go up, typically. In fact, 99% of the time, it will. If there's a chronic abuse of high insulin plus high cortisol, your body fat will go up big time. Now, conversely to that, human growth hormone, HGH, when your body is producing sufficient amounts of that and it teams up with cortisol, your muscle tone will improve, your body fat will decrease. Now, if you're an athletic individual who's trying to put some more muscle on and some body weight, keep that in mind too. More growth hormone from the food you eat and the type of training you're doing and weightlifting and that sort of thing, it's good. And you, in conjunction with cortisol, muscle mass will go up, body fat will probably remain the same or possibly go down. Now, small bouts of cortisol is good. We call it acute bouts because that's good for helping, once again, for your body to develop human growth hormone. Chronic bouts of cortisol is what's bad. When you do that, that's when your body becomes more insulin resistant. So that is not good. Now, here's how most people do it. People will go to the health food store or go to the doctor. They want to get some sort of magical supplement or medication or hormone replacement therapy. They want to piecemeal it. So if they have high estrogen or low estrogen or low testosterone for, for the men, they go to somebody to get hormone replacement therapy or take some sort of supplement that's going to elevate their DHEA or something like that. Those are piecemealing the problems. It's not addressing the core problem. As you know, these health detective series, I get at the core root of what's going on with you. The core root is first and foremost, you must address the balance of your insulin, your cortisol, and your human growth hormone, your HGH. Now you can be tested for each one of these three areas right here. There are blood tests and saliva tests accordingly that you can take to determine your level of this. I do those here in my practice. Come check me out. Now, secondarily to that, once you get this in balance, now, your thyroid and your adrenals are going to communicate much better because what happens when this gets out of balance, your adrenals are out of balance, which are chronically producing cortisol, and that actually weakens your thyroid. And your thyroid is the master metabolism of the human body. Going up the chart further, up the hierarchy, pyramid here, we have estrogen and we have testosterone. Now, guys, I've already had a discussion with you on this. Low T. Is it really low T? Or is it something down here that's causing the issue up here? 
So what do you do? You run to the doctor, you, you take some sort of testosterone supplement. Ladies, you run to the doctor or run to the store to try to elevate estrogen. What really is the issue, guys? Is it really estrogen? Is it really testosterone? Or is it down here somewhere? I say it's down here. It's downstream. Now, most cases I might say look upstream, but in this case it's downstream. So when insulin teams up with cortisol, you're going to get fat. Bottom line. When human growth hormone teams up with cortisol, you're going to stabilize. You're going to have more muscle tone. Bottom line. So, guys, keep this in mind when you go to your doctor, when you talk to your trainer, when you talk to whomever is your holistic person that's a mentor in your life, a counselor in your life. Ask them questions. Challenge them. Do your own research. Just don't take my word for it. Do your own research and check this stuff out here. Guys, I hope this has been helpful to you. Check me out more in the future. I have plenty more of these health detective series coming down the road here. My number here at, at Innovative Sports Training is 816-405-7703. My email is rwpsports at yahoo.com. I look forward to meeting all of you guys out there. I give 30-minute free consultations. Give me a call, email me. I'm on Facebook also. You can friend me on that with Roberto Parker or go to Innovative Sports Training, which is my business Facebook, face page site. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.